than anybody's room. I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me. I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim The Dream. I'm a 15 year old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, slaying trolls is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, wow. Devin Haney he pulls up on George Cambosos when George Cambosos was having an interview with Fight Hub TV and Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow, man. And it's a basic sum it up what they said in the interview. Uh, they both respected each other a lot. Uh, they both said they wanted to fight the best. And you know, that's what I want to hear, man. Uh, this is an undisputed match that could potentially happen if Devin Haney, he beats Jojo Diaz. You know, that's a fight everybody wants to see. The winner of that fight would be the seventh undisputed champion in history. And that's a historic thing to do. That's a very big accomplishment in the sport of boxing. Now for Devin Haney to achieve this, he needs to beat Jojo Diaz and not overlook Jojo Diaz like Tiffany Lopez did George Cambosis. Uh, you know, Jojo Diaz is a competent fighter. He's a skilled fighter. You know, he def you know, I think he definitely has a chance to beat Devin Haney, but I don't think it's that big of a chance. I think that Devin Haney is a more athletic fighter and he's the better boxer. Uh, Jojo Diaz is a smaller man in the ring. He's less lesser skilled boxer. I think he definitely has the will to win, but I think it's gonna be where Devin Haney is just going to outclass Jojo Diaz, similarly to how Gary Russell did against Jojo Diaz. Gary Russell Jr. was beating Jojo Diaz up throughout the entire fight, using his hand speed, consistently moving off the back foot. He even get in the middle of the ring with Jojo Diaz. Devin Haney in his last fight, he showed the ability to um, mix it up with his offense and his defense. The one thing that Devin Haney needs to be sure of is not to get caught with a big punch like he did in the Hoyle Lenares fight, because in the Hoyle Lenares fight, Hoy Lenares did manage to hurt Devin Haney. Uh, he needs to make sure that doesn't happen. But at the same time, Horace Norris is one of the biggest punchers in the lightweight division. Uh, Jojo Diaz is more of a respectable puncher. He has 31 wins and 15 knockouts, one loss. So I think that Devin Haney definitely needs to respect his power. I think he needs to not put on you know, a show and leave himself to get open, but put on a dominant performance. Uh, if he does beat Jojo Diaz, then we can finally see undisputed because um, I'm getting tired of people ducking Devin Haney. Devin Haney definitely wants to fight the best, but you know, as a champion, he should not have to look under rocks and crevices just to get his fights. You know, it's ridiculous that his mandatory is Ryan Garcia and Javier Fortuna, even Jojo Diaz, um, all ducked him. Jojo Diaz had to be forced to take this fight, otherwise he would look like a duck. So I think that Jojo Diaz is going to lose at least, you know, eight rounds to Devin Haney, and Devin Haney is going to dominate him. Uh, I hope, hopefully, this fight happens, man. I really want to see it. I want to see Devin Haney get his fair shake. I just want to see the best fight and the best in the sport of boxing. And that's something that we don't get enough in the sport. But this is my take on it, though. But to wrap this up, this is Nassim the Dream. Rocky's here. His name says to sleep. I'll holler another one. Peace.